good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. One more stop before we head back to Michigan in my zoo, of course, where we're gonna stop at Alligator Alley. My buddy Orlando got a bunch of cool stuff. Big snakes, albino alligators, two-headed turtles, all kinds of stuff. Let's go inside and have a good time. And again, I always love coming to Alligator Alley. Just when I was starting to think about the Reptarium, this is one of the places that really inspired me a tremendous amount to kind of move forward with things. I looked at his cage and things that he did that I really liked, and I wanted to really emulate that. Regardless, there are some pretty amazing animals here. In particular, this one behind me right now. Take a look at that monkey right there. I mean, unbelievable. Of course, this is an alligator snapping turtle, just like Bowser, but this one is 260 pounds. Woohoo, doggy. That is one big alligator snapping turtle. One day, hopefully, Bowser will be that big. I tell you what, you guys know that I love my salt, the albino alligator. To think that one day she's gonna be this big, I, I just, I can't wait. I know she's gonna be big. I know it's gonna be harder to take her out and hug her and cuddle her and all that type of stuff, but look at that animal. Gosh, I tell you what, that is like a dream come true, you know, and I know that it's just a few more years away and salt will be this big. I tell you what, being in with an anaconda this size is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely the largest body anaconda that I've ever seen. I tell you what, I was in here about a year ago and I was impressed that she's even bigger now. I tell you what, she's got to be a good 300 pounds. I mean, that is one big animal. And one day, Verde will hopefully be this big. It takes a long time with anacondas. Lots of food, lots of time. I uh, have my work cut out for me. But again, in my mind, I want an anaconda just like this girl right here. It's the most impressive snake and they are so strong and so incredible. I tell you what, this is just an amazing experience just to be in a cage this size. She is so big there would be no way I could ever pick her up because she is just, look at the size of her. And again that head and the fact that oh, she is just so incredible. And listen guys, like the thing that's interesting about anacondas is the fact that they'll strike kind of backwards. So if I get right over here and she thinks I'm food, she'll come whipping around and just scrap me up. To it. That is an animal that you have to pay a lot of respect to because it is absolutely stunning. Wow, this thing, look at this thing. Whoo! Ah, just look at the size of that sucker. Wow, that's just stunning. I can literally barely pick up 10% of her body, let alone the whole thing. Oh, I'm in love with it. And again, one day I know I'll be doing this weird beer day. Oh my gosh, take a look at these guys right here. Oh my God, they are absolutely adorable. Of course, this is an albino common snapping turtle, not the alligator snapping turtle. These are from more up the north, but these are the true albinos. Oh my God, that is unbelievable. I would really love to add that. Maybe I can add that to Bowser's pond and have more than one turtle in that pond. I'm not sure, regardless, I absolutely love these guys. Another turtle that is absolutely incredible. Of course, you know we have the two Mata Mata turtles at our place that are, you know, pretty decent size, right? Well, guess what? That's how big they're going to get. That thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, that's probably 20, 22 inches of carapace, of actual shell space, not to mention the huge head. Oh my God, that is absolutely incredible. Of course, it's going to take a long time for Mata Matas to get that big. I mean, it's, these guys are probably 25, 30 years old. Mine are only a couple years old, so it's going to be a big difference. But nevertheless, for you guys that have seen my Mata Mata turtles one day, they're going to be that big. I have gloves on is they have some incredibly sharp claws and when they get in on you you will feel it but of course this is a Bell's Face lace monitor from Australia unbelievable one of the coolest monitor lizards in the world in my opinion and again what I'm trying to do is just let him keep climbing but I don't want him to climb on my skin because trust me these guys are so boreal they have little daggers for claws and if they get a hold of you you'll be left like minced meat but what an incredible animal here Woo, doggy that thing is amazing. Wow, didn't expect to see this today. I am pretty darn excited about it. 
Oh my gosh, guys. I remember seeing these two little monkeys when they were just little tiny, like the size of a quarter. Of course, this is Cheech and Chong, the two-headed snapping turtle. These are common snapping turtles. I think they're absolutely incredible. And again, they were just the size of a quarter and they're obviously doing so, so well. Absolutely a really good example of a two-headed turtle. As you guys know, a lot of two-headed turtles don't make it. Two-headed snakes don't make it. Uh, in this case, these guys have been thriving. But I'm going to be totally honest with you. Uh, uh, you think you've seen some weird turtles? Uh, Cheech and Chong are nowhere near the weirdest turtles you're going to see. I'm about to show you something that will blow your mind. And I think that I probably am not letting you down when I said you're going to see something that is going to trip you out. This is actually Beavis and Butthead. And again, it's a two-headed common snapping turtle. The only difference is, instead of having two heads like that, guess what? Got one head here and you got one head here. And then if you really want to get tripped out, uh, you got a tail and their butt is right there. Now these guys will actually have two front claws, but they only have one on each side of the back. And you see this side doesn't have them at all. So what a crazy, crazy mutation. Again, I saw these at the same time I saw Cheeks and Chong when they were little tiny things. And I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I didn't think there was any chance that these guys were gonna actually survive. And here we go, three years later, and you have maybe one of the most wild, crazy animals I've ever seen in my entire life. I tell you what, this is a crazy one, and it is definitely upset. This is actually Arnold Lena. Ooh, she's got some sharp nails. But the difference with this girl here is that her back shell is actually partially like, I don't know, it's like kind of just missing a little bit. So it kind of looks like it has really big legs and thighs. I mean, that thing looks crazy wild. And again, it's obviously doing really, really well. What an unbelievably bizarre animal. I love really weird stuff. You guys know that. I'm always into that type of stuff. Arnolina over here is definitely uh, one of the freakier animals I've ever seen. And another weird turtle. This one doesn't have multiple heads or missing parts of its shell, but it is missing pigment. We've seen the T negative of the normal albinos over at Alligator Alley on exhibit. This would actually probably be like a T positive because it's not an albino with red eyes, but it certainly is an albino or lacking a ton of pigment. And for a common snapping turtle, it is unbelievably gorgeous. And he has a few of these, and to the best of our knowledge, there's no other ones in the United States. So it's pretty cool, and it's an honor to be holding something as amazing as that. So I think that wraps up the uh, the freak show part of this vlog. Orlando let us see some of his private collection. He actually breeds Burmese, he breeds boas, and a bunch of other really cool things as well. This was an animal that I fell in love with. Of course, you guys know that I have my ivory Burmese python, but it actually has blue eyes. This is actually a black-eyed Lucy. Absolutely stunning. As for a Burmese python, this is about as white as it gets. You can see a little bit of yellow in it, but it's about as white as it gets. And this is an unbelievable animal. And I've told the story so many times that one of my loves for Burmese really started with a white Burmese python that Bob Clark had years ago when I was like 18 years old. And it was about this size, maybe even a little bigger, and it just blew me away. I was just like, oh my God, what an amazing animal. And one day I sure hoped that I would have one. And in this case, I have a little small one that will eventually get this big. This thing is unbelievable. What an absolutely insane experience. That anaconda was crazy. All these animals were crazy. Oh, the turtles, oh, what the heck. This was absolutely incredible. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments which animal you thought was the craziest, the freakiest, the wildest, whatever the case is. As for now, I'm gonna get in the car, head home, and uh, get back to the Reptarium. We made it back to BHP. It is uh, like, what is it? 
Uh, it is 2.30 in the morning. We are absolutely crushed. Jay is loading the gear in. Uh, we're gonna get in here, shut the vlog down, get some rest, because we gotta start the day early tomorrow. I hope that you guys enjoyed this adventure in the Dells, Wisconsin. I had a great time. Let me know what you guys think in the meantime. I love your beautiful faces. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>